Hey everyone, it's Melissa Evans with Breakthrough to Beautiful. And I'm coming to you today just to do a, a vlog post to share with you what I've been thinking about today, a little inspiration from our team here at Breakthrough to Beautiful. And I wanna share with you reasons why we need to unpack our stories to level up in our business. And so one of the things that I believe is that we are myth-making machines as human beings. So what does that mean, myth-making machines? Well, a myth is a widely held false belief. And so there are a lot of myths in history, myths in ancient culture, but we create myths about ourselves. You know, we are born into this world as children and then we start creating meaning from everything around us. They call us meaning-making machines for a reason. And as we're developing this meaning, some of it's positive and some of it's negative. And so we create this personality or this, this story around ourselves that, then shapes everything that we do later in life. And sometimes that moves us forward in life and sometimes it limits us. So an example of that would be my personal story as I came from a single family home where my father wasn't around. My mom was a very strong, hardworking woman. And she told me that I needed to fight for everything in life and that don't let anybody ever tell me that I couldn't do something. And so it made me a fighter. It made me someone who was ready at any given moment to scrap her way to the top. And that got me out of poverty and it got me out of um, situations where I could, it, it saved me in a lot of ways. And it, I was able to go to college and do some things with my life because I had that fight in me. But then when I became successful in my business and started earning six figures, I stopped holding on to money. I stopped, um, I started self-sabotaging. I started showing up in really aggressive ways in teams. And I couldn't really connect the dots until I realized that it was part of my origin story. So then when I started unpacking that story and realizing that that didn't serve me anymore, I had to turn that into something positive that could fuel my business. And that is that I'm a fighter for others, but I know how to connect with people in a brave way when I need to. And so that's how story has affected me in my, my life. This came to me this morning and I'm gonna share it. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you guys some images from an artist named Akiana Kramerik who actually has this connection with divine source that I believe is the core of why we're here. And before we get any further, if you like what you're hearing, if you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you know what's going on on the page, drop us a comment, let us know what content you wanna see and like this video. So Akiana Kamarik is a painter who at four years old um, started hearing voices in her head from God. And, and this is not a religious video, this is really just about source and connection and how we are born into this world and how we create meaning. Um, but her connection with source really started at that young age. And she was given these messages that she didn't understand. And by the way, both of her parents were atheists. So this was not information that could have been given to her by her parents or anyone else. So she um, started painting these messages. And one of the paintings that she did was a, a, a painting that you're gonna see at the end of the video when I, I screen share. And it's actually a painting of Christ and she painted that at 11 years old. And there was a book called Heaven is for Real and in the book and movie. And it was about a little boy who died in the operating room and then was brought back to life. And he said he went to heaven and he said he saw Jesus and his parents would show him pictures of what they thought Jesus looked like. And he would say, no, that's not him. It's not him. When he was shown this painting from Akiana Kamarik, the little boy looked at it for a long time and said, that's him. I can tell because he has, has his eyes. Um, so that tells you that there is some kind of divine connection that she has. And this little boy who also had some type of um, afterlife experience, I guess you could say, also had the same had the same impression of Jesus. So it there's another painting I'm going to show you that she did at 11 that is of the universe. It is of energy and matter in the universe. And there have been physicists and neuroscientists and, who have looked at this painting and asked, how would you know that the universe worked like this? How would you know there's things in this painting that that, that 11 year old girl wouldn't know? And she said, God showed them to me. The universe showed them to me. Source energy showed them to me. And so to me, when you look at this picture, this embodiment of a human image of Christ and then the universe, it 
drives home the message that we are all one, we're all energy, we're all from the source. So where am I going with this, right? What does this have to do with unpacking our story and leveling up in business? Well, if you believe that we all come from source and we're born into a world where we are separate and, and individual, that we create this myth story around us, why would we do that? Why would we leave source and come into the world and actually become lesser human beings that have problems and things to overcome? Well, I would argue that it's because we have lessons that we're supposed to learn from those stories. And that when we unpack them, those myths and demystify our stories, we become vulnerable and we can show other people how they can level up in their lives because it makes, it connects us. It, our stories connect us in a way that nothing else can. You can be a CEO of a company or a school teacher and your stories may be completely different, but you should, you can share some origin stories that can connect you. And I think that's how we learn from each other. The world needs next level leaders. And I believe at Breakthrough to Beautiful that every woman, every human being deserves to unravel their myth and remake it into a powerful, meaningful message for their business, their brand, and their life. And I believe that we should, that will lead to a life of contribution that was never possible before. And the, the idea here, and I'm going to give you an exercise to do. This exercise is super profound and helpful for me. And the first thing is to sit down and write out at least two life events that affected you in a negative way and two in a positive way. Write those out and think about what those stories did in terms of creating meaning in your life. And then once you've done that, set a timer for 10 minutes and just write as many negative things that you think about yourself or have thought about yourself in the past on a list, just write free form. I know we try not to think about ourselves in the negative, but there is a method to my madness here. So you write out this list and when you're done, you want to stand in front of a mirror or with a loved one and you want to read that list back. This is a powerful exercise because when you hear yourself speak out into the universe, these things that go on in your head, you realize how abusive you've been to yourself. A few of mine are, um, if I try to do something for myself, I'm selfish. Um, if I don't show up looking my best, I'm not lovable. Um, I'm not a nice person. My family doesn't favor me. I'm the black sheep. So these are things that, as I say them out loud, they almost sound ridiculous. But the truth is, we believe them at a core subconscious level. And until we acknowledge them, write them down, we can't unpack and change them. Now, the next step is to really take the time to write an affirmation, a positive affirmation to every one of the negative statements on your list. So if I say I'm unlovable, it's like I am a very lovable and caring person. People want to be around me or um, I, I'm not valued by my family. I am, a, I am different. I am unique. My family counts on me for my leadership. You want to turn those um, statements into positive affirmations. You want to use those every day. So the, the next thing you want to do is just repeat those to yourselves at least two times a day, the morning and at night, and rewire your brain. The whole message of us in this universe now is that we are connected. There is divine source, whether you want to call it energy, the universe, you want to call it God. And that, that source connects all of us. We, if you think about our bodies, you think about our bodies as being this mass of cells, right? What makes us go? Energy makes us move. We have electrical magnetic energy in our body. We have impulses running through our heart. We have impulses running through our brain. Our muscles are firing. Our nerves are firing. If you were to fall asleep and someone was to try to drag you across the floor, you're dead weight. But the energy in your body, that, that, that life force energy creates movement and, and motion. And that is what the world is made up of. We're all connected. We are more similar than we are different. We are all love. And through love, we can unpack our stories and create profound changes, not only in our personal life and business, but we can level up this world and be leaders for uh, other women to follow. If when I was 25 or 26, nobody told me that, the, that I could do all the things that I'm doing today. I didn't have that leadership. I had people telling me that I should get married and have children. And there's nothing wrong with that. I should go to college. I should do this. And I never had a leader in my life say, here are some things that are holding you back. And here's a path you can take. It's not a conventional path. They can lead you to your purpose. And I believe that women today deserve the right to learn about their purpose and then reach out to women younger than themselves to share their stories and create 
breakthrough transformational uh, experiences for them so they can shorten that leadership um, cycle and get to their true purpose a lot sooner. So let me share my screen real quick. Here we go. So this is the painting of Christ that Akiana Kamarik did. And I believe this might be a where she's worked on a little bit more. It looks a little different than the original, but the original painting was done when she was 11 years old. And you can see from this painting that it's almost like a photograph. And again, the, the book and the movie, Heaven is for Real, the little boy who died and came back from death in that, um, in that book and in that movie was shown this picture. And he said that it looked like Christ to him, even though he was shown so many other pictures. So um, the other image that I, I find very um, powerful is this image here. And this was the other image that was shown on the, um, look, it's $2 million was shown on the Katie Couric show. I kept saying Oprah show, but that's because I had Oprah on the brain because she was on this gallery. But this was actually shown on the Katie Couric show. And this was also painted when she was 11 years old. And this was displayed on the stage right beside the picture of Christ. And this image here is, she was shown this by God, by source, and she didn't really understand it. So she just painted it. And there have been um, physicists and scientists that have looked at this picture and said, how did you understand the dynamics of how the universe works? And she didn't really understand. It was just shown to her. And so to me, when I look at both of those pictures together, what I'm seeing is this whole duality of the idea that we have about Christ in the world and in the universe itself and how science and energy are really related and all one. So the whole idea is that if we are born from source, we're coming into the world to create meaning and that meaning becomes our message, not only our life and our business. And so we need to really unpack those things and do the hard work of discovering why we're really here. So I would uh, encourage you guys again to drop into the comments and tell me what type of content that you want to share. This was an impromptu vlog I wanted to bring to you and I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Stay beautiful.